With regard to the issue of the holiday spread and the peaks, they're going to be superimposed upon each other. So you would expect the full blunt of the travel and the family setting gatherings with friends that you alluded to as being a problem. You'd expect that the effect of the Thanksgiving surge would be probably another week and a week and a half from now, because it's usually two and a half weeks from the time of the event. The problem is that's going to come right up to the beginning of the Christmas Hanukkah potential surge. So you have a surge upon a surge, and then before you can handle that, more people are going to travel over Christmas. They're going to have more of those family and friends gatherings that you accurately said are an issue. So if those two things happen and we don't mitigate well, we don't listen to the public health measures that we need to follow, that we could start to see things really get bad in the middle of January. So I think not only for New York State, but for any state or city that is facing similar problems without substantial mitigation, the middle of January can be a really dark time for us. But as you said in your presentation, Governor, there are some things that we can do to mitigate against that. I think particularly the appreciation that it's such a natural thing to think when I have family and friends over for the holidays, Christmas and Hanukkah, you get indoors, you take your mask off because you're eating and drinking, and you don't realize that there may be somebody that you know, that you love, that's a friend, that's a family member, who is perfectly well with no symptoms, and yet they got infected in the community and brought it into that small gathering that you're now having in your home. So that's the reason why I want to underscore what you said. That's one of the issues. But bottom line for your first question, mid-January is probably going to be the bad time. 